the name of the shop here, this is James Duff Enterprises. We basically design and, and build Bronco, early Bronco parts and other Broncos too, but that's our specialty. Well, I was born into a uh, blacksmithing family, uh, third generation. Uh, so of course that's my grandfather and my dad. And my dad taught me how to basically bend metal. Uh, he set me up with a coal forge and a big anvil. And he said, I'm gonna have you make horseshoes. So I was out there, you know, 15 years old, learning how to bend metal and make horseshoes. And then horseshoes turned into, you know, body panels. And from there, it turned into building race cars and, and you know, bending tube. And I just got so interested in how to form and shape metal that I just kept getting, you know, farther and farther into it. This year at SEMA, I'm bringing a, a 1968 Ford Bronco. It started as it hit its history on TV at the Monster Garage. Uh, Jesse James and his crew built it, and uh, I've acquired it since, gone through and resurrected it. The biggest highlights of this Bronco is that it's, it's narrow front and rear. Uh, it's got rear steer. Um, it's got all the bells and whistles that you need to crawl the most extreme trails. The motor is based off of a 351 Windsor and it's stroked out to 427 cubic inches. It's roughly producing 500 horsepower. There isn't a part on the shelf that you can buy to make it look like this. You know, you literally have to build everything from scratch. So everything is literally formed either by a settling torch and a hammer or cutting and welding it together. It's a head turner. You know, and everyone, you know, that gives you a thumbs up, it just makes you, it just reiterates that all that hard work you put into it was, was well worth it. This, this Bronco is specifically built for rock crawling. Crawling on trails that have giant rocks in it the size of small cars. Uh, but the cool part is, is it can also do some high speed stuff. And, uh, you know, so you can go play in the sand, play in the mud, or go out and crawl on the trails. Well, actually, I'm new to the scene of SEMA, and to be considered as one of the participants in the Battle of the Builders is a huge honor. Uh, I was just happy to go there, you know, but this is just, you know, this is the cherry on top. What it's going to mean to me when I offload it at SEMA, uh, and, you know, and all those eyes are on it, um, I'm going to be really nervous, to be honest. You know, I'm going to have butterflies in my stomach, and uh, it's going to make me feel accomplished. It's going to make me feel like I've finally done something that, that actually meant something. Yeah.